So you wanna know when to buy and when to sell in these markets? We're gonna get to that, man. We're gonna make sure y'all trade and go to the next level. But look, let me say this. God did not make rich people and he did not make poor people. He only made people, but it's up to you to get to the next level. Shout out to Miles Monroe. The reason why I say that, man, is because a lot of people in life, they say, oh, you know, they was born rich or they this and that, but everybody got the same 24 hours in a day. It's up to you on how you use those 24 hours. So no excuses this year, y'all ready? All right, we're gonna get into this video, but before before we do that, man, make sure y'all thumbs this video all the way up. It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, man. We live and direct with this video. And I'm about to make sure y'all get this scripture of the day because y'all got to get it. All right. Second Timothy one through seven. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love and self-control. All right. That simply means stop fearing. Stop fearing when you in these markets. Stop fearing the things that are coming on this earth. Only trust in the Lord. You're going to be straight. All right. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yo, what's going on? So look, man, in order to know where to buy and to sell, you got to know a couple of different things. Number one, let's talk about market structure. You want to know market structure, man. So let me give you the basics of it right now. Lower highs, higher lows. Y'all, y'all have heard it before. If you haven't, you know, I'm going to show you now. So let's say the market is coming up, right? Does a pullback, goes up again. Does a pullback, goes up again. Pullback, up again, right? And so this is basic market structure, right? The market starts to go high, makes a lower high, right? Stops here, goes past this previous high, right here. Makes a higher high, lower high, higher high right here because it's higher than the previous high right a lot of the times if you want to if you want to buy on this type of setup you buy here on the pullback all right you buy pullback you buy pullback right then as the market starts to reverse and break structure when the market goes lower than its previous low right then that's how you know the market is reversing Y'all got that? So let's say market's coming up. Let's say it hits resistance, starts to drop. You're just looking to see if it's gonna pass the previous low. Once it does that, it broke structure, right? So at that point, you hop in on the sale. Like I said, opposite on the buy, you hop in on this pullback. On the sale, you hop in on the peak, right? And you ride it down, hopping on the peak, ride it down, hopping on the peak. And this is how you can enter multiple positions. All right. So that's that. Now, let me give you a example on the actual uh, chart. Market comes up. Y'all see that? Boom. All right. We could have bought again. So we would have bought here. It goes up. Buy. Right. Comes up, comes down. We could buy again. Market goes up, pulls back, buy again. It continues to make these higher highs. And so this is how you know we're on a steady uptrend. Of course, the fact that the candles are above this 200 moving average right here helps. It helps you see it. But you could also see just by how the market is going. Now, where the market is currently, you can start to see it as well, right? So let's say we come in here, go in here, it's starting to get there. Now, if this right here starts to break this, then we may start to get this. We may start to get this and it may continue to turn around. All right. So that's what you're looking for. Market structure. All right. So on these setups, you will know when to buy and to sell based on the structure of the market. OK, now. Let me give you guys another example of some things that you can do. I'm going to go to a, uh, a different pair. So let's take a look at GBP USD, right? So as you can see here, let's say the market's coming down. We get our pull back here. We drop pull back here right now. The structure on this is potentially starting to be broken, but you have to look for fake outs. So now that we didn't continue all the way down, we go up, right? And now we're starting to consolidate out in the zone because you're starting to get this box, all right? And when the market does that, it usually does this until we get a breakout. Now, if you get a breakout, you could potentially go here, 
go here, go here, go here. Or if it breaks out to the bottom, it's going to be the same thing on the way down. All right. So that's what we're looking at. All right. So look, this here is support and resistance we're going to talk about next. And I want you to know exactly when to buy and to sell on that. So there's a couple different ways you could do this. All right. Now, I already had this chart marked up previously for you guys so you can see exactly what we're looking at. All right. Now, this is the weekly time frame. All right. So you can come to the weekly time frame. And the best thing to do is to mark up key levels of support and resistance. All right. So if you come to the weekly, you can just see different levels. The market touched here in this zone. You can just see all the different touches in these zones. Right. And this is why I put the support and resistance zones here. Right. And you see the market is now starting to come back down here to this zone. OK, now the same the same rules apply. You can mark up smaller zones. Now, like I said, this is the weekly. So these are key levels. You see this here. And we know that the market could potentially come back up to this zone, break through, head up here to these smaller zones up here. Right. Or it could continue to break out and continue to head to this direction. Now, the reason why I have a trend line here is because the market is respecting the trend line. Now, it just broke trend here, if you could see it. It just broke trend right here. Now, if it continues down, it could continue to make its pattern, right? It may not be as sloppy, like it may come up here with a fake out and then head back down, right? So you have to look out for that. And that's why support and resistance is so important so you can catch these different moves that's going on. So this is something that you will have to look at over the next couple of days to a week or so to see how it plays out. But normally after I mark up the weekly, you could then do top down analysis and come to the daily the four hour and mark up smaller zones. Okay. So that's usually what you want to do to find your best entries. Okay. So we remove this here. Okay. So now let's say we come to the four hour based on what I marked up on the, the weekly, you can come down here to like the four hour and you could see, you could see right here, a clear break of the trend line. Right. And you could have got in. Now, you could have got in for the drop or you could have got in on a pullback. We also see here, if you guys know, I trade a lot off of the 200 moving average. But you can also see here that the market broke clear through the trend line. Right. Breaks different levels of support. Breaks through retest here. So this could have been another entry. Right. So you got an entry there. A pullback back at the at the zone retest. You could have got in again here on the sale market dropped, pull back another sale, and it's trying to continue here. Now the next level, like I said, is going to try to break is here. If it continues to break here and forms another low, then it's going it's going that structure will continue. So if it, it may look something like this here. It may look like this and continue down. Or like I said, it could come back retest this zone and end up going back up this way. You know what I'm saying? So there's a bunch of different scenarios, but these are different ways to know how to buy and sell. So basically you go from the weekly, you mark the weekly up, right? And then as you go down to the, the daily, the four hour, maybe the one hour, you can mark up smaller zones on key levels of support and resistance and you'll be able to enter there, okay? And so this is the kind of stuff that I, I like to show people because it's like once you have it all marked up, it becomes easy to see, OK, where's the market bouncing and where, you know, are the potential setups. So I'm going to go to one more pair here so you guys can see. We'll go here to GJ. All right. So GJ, a lot of people love to trade GJ because, you know, they get over 100 pips a day and a uh, very fast moving pair that's going to give you the most bang for your buck. And so one of the things that you guys can do is trend line. Let's grab our trend line right quick so we can see. I'm going to start here. We're going to go clear through here. All right. So boom. Trend line is going to help you know, OK, basically what a trend is. And based off of that, you could just see where the market is going. Right. Bounce off up, try to break through a little bit up. Now, this right here, 
I'm going to draw another line here, right? And this is called a wedge pattern, all right? So this is an ascending wedge, meaning if the market is going up, we're usually looking for a fall in the future, right? So let me show you. Since this market is going upward this way, we're usually looking for a drop in the near future because it's ascending wedge. Now, if it was a descending wedge, meaning the market was headed in a downward direction like this, then we would be looking for the market to go up like that, okay? And so that's the difference between ascending wedge and a descending wedge. So if you ever see this pattern right here, then you will know exactly what we're looking for. All right, but based off this, it didn't broke through a high level of resistance on the four hour, all right? We go up, we got the pullback. Now I could potentially go up here, or let me remove this. It could break back down through here, back into this zone, and complete out for the drop. So these, these are the ones that I like to wait on. So if I go here to the weekly, let me just look at the weekly and just kind of see. We got heavy rejection, heavy rejection. So you remember that pattern I was just telling y'all about? Look at this candle right here. Heavy rejection. When you see a long skinny wick like this, heavy rejection meaning we could potentially be going down. So that just lets you know what I was telling you on the four hour chart. The market, like I said, can, can potentially break down into this pattern here and come back into this zone that's right here. It could potentially come back into the zone and potentially give us that fall that we're looking for, straight down, all right? So takeaways from this video. You wanna buy and sell at high levels of support and resistance. If you set up support and resistance here, Right. If the market bounces off resistance, you want to look for sales, especially if it touches multiple times. You sell, and how do you know when to get out? You mark it up, and boom, you got key levels. Sell, buy. Sell, buy, right? Catch quick scalps, catch long-term trades. And then once it starts to break out, then you know, okay, now I can start buying here. We got a pullback, potentially could go here, but as you saw on the weekly, the market is starting to weaken out. So we may get that drop back down here. Now it could come here and bounce off, or it could go back and break through and head back in this direction, all right? So make sure you study market structure on market structure you want to buy on the pullback when the market is going up and then as the market is coming down you want to sell on the pullback so you sell here you buy over here y'all got that talk to you on another video god bless make sure you ask god for forgiveness for all your sins see you guys later god's timing is perfect patience has a purpose waiting for it's worth it right on time when we lay to the